Hello everybody and welcome back to part 5 of how to make a basic game in Blender. Um, today we're going to be adding a third level. This third level is going to have a button uh, that triggers a ramp which lets our player get the final coin. So, to start we're going to need to add a new scene. So just click the plus, we're going to do new. Um, and let's go ahead and name this uh, level 3. Um, and again, we're going to need to do our basic sort of stuff, so switch from Blender Render to Blender Game. Go to the Blender tab and turn on GLSL mode. Alright, so then we can go back to our level 1, which is kind of our uh, template level. And we're going to shift select the second layer so that we can uh, see the objects in both layers. So just hold shift and click on the second layer there. Uh, hit A twice to select everything, and then we're going to hit Control L, link objects to scene, and we're going to choose level 3. So now if we switch our scene back to level 3, we can see we have all of these objects here. Um, the only thing we're going to want to change is our cube here. We're going to want to hit U, make single user object, and all of our uh, coin spawners here as well. So just select the coin spawner, hit U, make single user and select object. Just do that for all of these spawners. Okay. So now then, we are ready to start setting up our third level. So let's go ahead and add some obstacles to our level. So maybe a few platforms, um, and then we'll model up the ramp that we're going to be animating. So hit Shift A, we can add a cube. Uh, I'm just going to leave this roughly the default size. We can just move this move this around a bit. Um, let's put this one over here. Let's make another one. Put it over here. And let's make this one too tall for them to get up on. So let's hit S. You can press down the middle mouse button or press Z to lock it to the z-axis and let's go about that high. So if we play the game we should be able to uh, run around, we should be able to get up on this cube no problem, but we should not be able to get up on that cube. Alright, so we'll go ahead and let's move some of these coin spawners around. Let's get this coin spawner put up on top of that cube there, so you jump up on this cube to get that coin. And then let's go ahead and put another one at the very top of that cube there. So if we uh, play the game, you can see we have the uh, coin on top of the different cubes, and we can't reach that one, which means we can't finish this level. Okay, so now we need to add our ramp. Uh, I'm just going to use a cube for this, so hit Shift A, we can add a cube. Let's just kind of line it up with this this big cube here. And we're going to go ahead and let's enter edit mode and hit the side view, so hit 3 on the number pad. Um, you can hit 5 to enter uh, orthographic view which is just kind of flat. Um, uh, you can also do all of this from the view options so I believe we're in yeah view right and then uh, there's perspective or ortho and we want ortho. So we're gonna enter edit mode with tab um, and then we're just going to stretch out this right side a little bit hit S, middle mouse button, to scale it just on the z-axis. and We're just kind of kind of switch between scaling it up and moving it up until we are just about there. Okay, so that's good. Uh, we can then choose the front half of our ramp, move it on out to the left, and scale it on down on the z-axis. Just move that down. Um, 
And maybe we need to go out a little further. Let's try that. So now we can switch back to object mode. And you can see it's a pretty big ramp, but I think it'll do. Um, one thing we're going to want to do is move this origin of the object back to its uh, center. So to do that, we're going to click on this little plus here to get our uh, tools panel. And we're going to click set origin, origin to geometry. Okay. So depending on how the physics decides it wants to work out, this ramp may work fine, um, or it may be a bit of a problem. And it's looking like it's going to be a bit of a problem. Okay, so it looks like it'll be okay, but just to be sure we can go to the physics tab and we're going to want to scroll down, check mark the collision bounds, and instead of box, we're gonna go with triangle mesh. So if we play the game, our character should be able to move up the ramp. All right. So now we need to animate this ramp. So to do that, we're going to have it in its tallest position, its finished position. And we're gonna change this keyframe um, up to something like, I don't know, let's try, let's try like 50. So this is how many frames it'll take the ramp to fully extend. So we're then going to hit I, and we're just going to do location for this one. We're then going to go back down to where the keyframe is zero. You can change the keyframe with the arrow keys. And then we're going to drag this ramp down on the Z axis. We're going to hit I and location. So now if we hold the right arrow key, you can see the ramp plays this animation that makes it move up and down. So. Uh, if we go back to the first keyframe there, we now need to add a button that's going to trigger this ramp. So I'm going to use a cylinder. Yeah. And we can just leave the vertice count where it's at. I think that looks pretty nice. Um, let's go ahead and scale it down just a little bit. We can scale it down on the z-axis as well. And all right, we're just going to put it over here and let's give it a little bit of color so let's go to the materials tab add a new material and can give it a name I'm gonna name this button whoops caps locks is on so button uh, and I'm gonna go with a kind of red I think we can do a red button so there's a few ways we could get this button to trigger this ramp uh, we could use a collision sensor uh, to detect the player, but the problem with that is uh, the player wouldn't necessarily have to be on top of the button. They could just run into the side of it and it would press the button. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use a radar sensor. So we're going to add a sensor. There's the radar sensor. And we're going to be looking for the property player make sure the capitalization is the same as what it is on our player cube. So you can see the first letter is capitalized. Go back to the first layer and make sure that that's capitalized. We don't want to use the x-axis because that would be pointed out the side. Instead we want to use the positive z-axis because that's pointing up on this uh, cylinder. Uh, distance, we should make this somewhat small, just a little over one, I believe, because one should be just at the edge of the object. And angle, we can do something like 60. Okay, so whenever the player jumps on this button, what we want it to do is we want it to uh, move this ramp up. We want to have it play its animation. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and add a controller to our button. And then we're going to shift select our ramp. And then on our ramp object here, it's uh, cube 0.004. We should actually probably rename that, but we want to add an actuator to our ramp and it's going to be an action actuator. 
you can wire that into the controller that's on the button object and then for the action we're going to select Q.004 action we're going to start at frame 1 and we're going to end at frame 50 and play should be fine so we play the game our player goes on top of the button uh, nothing happens um, so let's go to the second layer and let's check our player cube here if we go to the physics tab okay so actor here isn't check marked we need to make sure that that's check marked and that allows other objects to uh, detect our player object so if we go back to the first layer we can play the game go onto the button and you can see the ramp goes up now one problem with this is if we go on the button again you can see the ramp pops back down under the ramp or back under the plane um, so what we want to do is we want to make it why don't we make it so that the button disappears as well so we can actually add an animation to this button that it will play as well uh, let's go ahead and name this button so go to the object tab select the name let's name it whoops let's name it button all right so on the first frame of the animation as you can see there uh, we want this to be up so we're gonna hit I and location and then let's have it drop down in say 20 frames so now I'm on the 20th keyframe we can drag this on down so it's underneath the plane so the player won't be able to press it anymore all right and let's hit I and we will do location again so you can see now it'll play this animation where the button drops away okay so now we need to hook that uh, we need to play this animation when the buttons pressed Here's where we're detecting when the button's pressed, so let's go ahead and add an actuator to our button object. So add a action actuator, wire that into the same controller as what's animating the uh, ramp. And then for the action, we're going to select button action, start frame of one and end frame of 20. So now we can switch to our camera, play the game, and whenever we get on our button it disappears and the ramp pops up over its place and we can't repress that button okay so one last thing i want to do is i kind of want to make this ramp the same color as the button maybe later we'll make different ramps be different colors um or different objects different colors that match the button so we can just go to the materials tab and go to the materials drop down and let's select button so it's actually the same color okay so why don't we add a few more of these coins in so let's just select one of the spawners let's just duplicate it a few more times uh, why don't we make why don't we make another platform here so Let's move where our player spawns and let's duplicate this platform here and make another one that's kind of taller than that so that you have to jump up on the first platform and then the second one. So you can just scale that up a little bit. And then let's move this coin spawner so that it's up on top of that cube. All right. And why don't we add just one more coin over here. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coins. So select our spawner, select this property sensor. Um, you can see right now we have it set to if it's equal to five coins. We don't want that. We want seven coins. Okay. And once it's equal to seven coins, follow this actuator. You can see it's going to play the sound. Once that finishes, we're going to go to this scene here. Now, right now, it's setting the scene to level two. Uh, we don't want that. 
So we're going to switch that from level 2 to finished, because now this is the last level. And then we're going to need to go to our level 2 scene, select the spawner, go to this scene actuator, and instead of setting the scene to finished, we're going to set the scene to level 3. So now whenever we finish the second level, we'll go to the level 3 scene. Okay, so we can test this out. We can go to our menu. We can play the game. Hit play. Oh, uh, I forgot. In our first level here, uh, you'll notice we still have both layers selected. So we just need to select just the first one. Okay. So go back to the menu. Hit play. And we can finish the first level. All right. We go to our second level, which has a lot more coins. All right. And our third level then, we can see we have a few coins. We have a few platforms. Uh, we can't grab that coin because it's out of our reach, uh, but we can jump up on this platform and then jump up onto that one. Uh, and we can't grab this coin here because that platform is too high. So we go, we jump on the button, and a ramp appears to help us, and we're able to go up the ramp and grab the last coin. And then we see, congratulations, you won. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. Um, it's going to be a lot shorter than the last one, uh, but hopefully it helps you a good bit. Next time we're going to be adding um, a time sort of formula to the score. We're going to make it so the faster you finish it, the higher the score you get. Um, and we will also add in a sort of uh, high score screen here. And we'll uh, save that out to a file um, so that Every time you start up the game, those high scores will uh, always load up. Alright, so I'm going to be trying to release these videos a lot more often than I have now that I um, actually have some free time. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. want to thank you guys very much for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.